So we've got a heating problem here, and Newton's law of heating and cooling states that the rate of change of the temperature of an object is proportional to the difference between its own temperature and the temperature of its surroundings. So we've got a roast that's going into a 200 degree oven, and we want to create a differential equation based on this. So that 200 degrees is going to be the temperature of its surroundings. So for part A, Let's use a capital T, so the change in temperature with respect to time, that's our rate the temperature is changing, is equal to, now it's proportional, so we need a constant of proportionality, the difference between its temperature, which we're calling T, and the temperature of its surroundings. So right there is our differential equation for this problem. And it's just based on Newton's law. So. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this information that the roast is initially 20 degrees and it's at 120 degrees after 30 minutes to solve the differential equation from part A. So part B we're going to solve our differential equation and we'll use a separation of variables so dt over t minus 200 equals k d little t and now let's go ahead and solve this for t. So on this side we've got ln of the absolute value of t minus 200 equals, oops, we're doing antiderivative of both sides, I should have mentioned that, kt plus our initial constant, we'll call it c1. Now to get these out we know we need to make them exponents of e. So we get t minus 200 equals, now I'm going to make this a multiplicative constant. I'm not going to use c because we have c in here for Celsius already. Let's use a, where a is e to the c1, e to the kt, and we can get our general solution. So t equals 200 plus ae to the kt. Okay, well that's nice, but we need our specific solution. Well, first thing we know is, is, this, is this roast was initially at 20 degrees. So, at time zero, we're going to plug in zero for t. The nice part about that, if t is zero, zero times zero, k is zero, e to the zero is one. So, 20 equals 200 plus a which gives us that A equals a negative 180. So we're getting a little closer to getting our general solution. Let's see what we're, where we're at. 200 minus 180 e to the kt. Next we need to find k and that's where we're going to use this bit of information that after 30 minutes we measured it and it was at 120 degrees. So we're going to put in 120 for t equals 200 minus 180 e to the k times 30 and we are going to solve this thing for k. So to solve it for k we might start by subtracting 200 from both sides so that's going to give us negative 80 equals negative 180 e to the 30 k and then we can divide both sides by negative 180. And over here we've got e to the 30k. Over here we'll simplify just a little bit. There's not a whole lot we can do. It's going to be 4 ninths. Now to get this out of the e, this is where we can take natural log of both sides. So we get ln of 4 ninths equals 30k. And we divide both sides by 30. And there's the exact value of our k. If we want it as a uh, decimal, it's right around negative 0.027. So we can now put together our unique solution. So t equals 200 minus 180 e to the, we're doing it as a decimal, negative 0.027 t. Finally, Part C, we want the temperature after being in there for an hour. We've done the whole problem in minutes, so T is automatically in minutes. 
So when we go to computer temperature, we need to convert and we need to put in 60 for an hour because we're going to be looking at 60 minutes. Calculating this gives us about 164.4 and this problem was done in Celsius.